So in this video, I'm going to tell you all about a DIY project that I've been working on, which gives theoretically perfect performance from any good quality pair of headphones for either music or for movies. Does that sound too good to be true? Let's find out. I'm Steve from Sounds Heavenly Cables. Now my day job is making the cables that connect Bang & Olufsen audio systems. But when I'm not making cables, I'm a serious music and movie lover. I would normally use my speakers for music and movies, but during 2020 and 2021, the perpetual UK lockdowns have meant that I've had my children working at home and I've had to resort to headphones to get the sounds I need. And that's led me to start thinking about how to get the best from them. If you're a regular viewer of the channel, you may recall that I recently made a video where I used some free software on the PC to analyse and improve the sound of my BLab Penta loudspeakers. So I thought it would be interesting to see what potential there is for using the same process for headphones. Now instead, in this case, instead of using the Room Equalisation Wizard, REW, to analyse the headphones, I've cheated a little. I've taken published frequency response charts for the two pairs of headphones I use day to day, Sennheiser's HD 599s, these open back lightweight headphones, and Bang & Olufsen's H95s, adaptive noise cancelling closed back premium headphones. And I've then reversed these EQ charts and use those to make filters to flatten out the unique character of each pair of headphones. I won't cover in this video the detail of how Equalizer APO, the software for setting the filters, actually works. But at the end, I'll link to my original BLab Penta video so you can see a bit more background. But basically, this is free software for any PC. It allows you to very easily dial in frequency response filters to affect the tone of the sound that you're putting out from the computer. And that means you can easily correct for inaccuracies in your headphones or speakers. And you can display those filters visually, so it's very easy to take a published frequency response chart and convert that to a correction chart which gives you theoretically a flat frequency response. So putting that in real terms, a note played anywhere on a piano keyboard at the same strength should give exactly the same volume of sound regardless of its pitch. You may assume that all headphones do that anyway. They don't, I can assure you. The Sennheisers have a, if we look at the frequency response chart, have a boost in the mid-band, so the frequencies from my voice up to those of a female voice, they come out at roughly half as much too loud again as they should be compared to other sounds. And the deep bass on the left hand side of the chart rolls right down steeply. Basically that means these headphones do not produce any loud bass. If you're listening to music with bass guitars and bass drums or action movies with explosions, you're not going to hear them as they should be. So the correction filters I've applied for these headphones look predominantly at boosting that missing bass back up and gently relaxing the amount of mid-band that's there to give equal volume to the same sounds regardless of their pitch. Very briefly with the, Sen the Sennheisers was all about boosting the bass with the Bang & Olufsen h 95 the bass is good and strong. It's quite prominent, it's not overblown, but it's very definitely not missing. So what we did, looking at the frequency charts again for the H95s, we just packed off the deep bass a little bit just to make it in keeping with the rest of the music. And again with the high treble, 
those sort of sounds that you get as a cymbal is struck on a drum kit, they're just relaxed a little bit to give a completely flat response. Now, listening to the two pairs of headphones with the, their own filters applied, they sound almost exactly the same. I must stress that there is a massive difference in build quality between these two pairs of headphones. So these Sennheisers are lightweight, flimsy plastic items. The Bang & Olufsen H95s are premium headphones crafted from really high quality materials. So in no way am I saying that they become equal in quality. What I'm saying is that for music reproduction, I've managed to get them to behave in a very similar way. The next step was to look at movies. Now, if you are an avid action movie lover, as I am, you'll know that the bass depth and slam that you get from an explosion in a properly set up professional movie theatre goes way beyond what you feel at home when you watch that same movie. And that's intentional. When Dolby Labs have set up the Dolby Digital and Dolby Atmos sound formats, what they've intended is that there is a low frequency effects channel, or LFE, added to the surround sound mix. And that is not a subwoofer output per se. What it is, is an extra dose of effects base that's intended to give you the, the extra base that you can feel in a movie without overloading the main speaker channels. And that's something that when you down mix a surround sound format to stereo for headphones, that is lost. The LFE channel is normally taken out of the stereo mix by your TV, AV receiver or computer. So on top of the flat frequency response we've used as a baseline for music, what I've done is created a second set of filters that simulate adding in the LFE channel to a movie. And what that gives you typically is 10 decibels of boost, which starts to roll off at about 80 hertz, which is the lowest note on an electric guitar. And by the time you reach 120 hertz, about half an octave higher than that, it should have disappeared to no boost at all. And that is where things get interesting. The Sennheisers now give movie reproduction with real depth and power without ever feeling woolly and bassy and overblown. If you hear a male star in the voice uh, with a voice that's deep and boomy, it doesn't get down into that frequency that's being boosted. So this is preserved only for the effects, the helicopters going overhead, the tanks crashing through walls, the buildings exploding, you get the picture. But with H95, this was really quite a revelation. So I coded that same emulation of an LFE channel onto the, the software, had a listen, took off the filters, had a listen and realized that what Bang & Olufsen have done is, I think they've optimized these headphones for movies and also made them good for music. They have almost exactly the Dolby Cinema sound curve built into them as their default sound profile. So in the end, I've actually ended up listening to the H95s without any coding for movies. Now I'd be very interested to hear what your thoughts are on this. If you want to try the filters that I've applied to my headphones, please get in touch. You can reach me via my website at soundsheavenly.com. If you've got either Sennheiser HD 598s or 599s, or you've got Bang & Olufsen's H95s, and you want to try experimenting, tweaking the sound to see what results you get, please let me know, and I'll happily email you through the filter settings that I used that you can download straight into your PC 
add on to Equalizer APO and see what you think to the sound. And please let me know in the comments what you think. And obviously I'll give this the caveat that I'm not going to claim here that I've got analytically perfect sound from both headphones. What I've tried to do is, in a few simple steps, create basic frequency filters that bring me as close to natural sound as possible from both headphones, either optimised for music listening or for movies. And I must say, it's been a thoroughly enjoyable experiment. I now have two pairs of headphones that I can happily slip on of an evening when the children are in bed and listen to music or listen to movies and feel that I'm getting the quality and the tonal characteristics that I want from them. And as a music and movie lover, that's all I can ask for. So I hope that this has been helpful and that it will inspire you to download Equalizer APO, plug in your headphones and have a go for yourself. Please let me know in the comments what you think and if you'd like to know more about improving your own audio at home, please subscribe to the channel. There will be lots more, slightly unusual but hopefully helpful, videos like this one. As promised, here are the links to the video where I talk more about Equalizer APO with my Penta loudspeakers and also a review of the Bang & Olufsen H95s and the Sennheiser HD 599s as they come out of the box. Thank you for watching.